had a lovely couple of days off here in Tamerza, but I saw from the weather forecast last night there is some incredible weather coming. It's going to be like 47 degrees. Um, so I'm pretty short of time to get to do's. But first, there's some Star Wars stuff I need to look at. chewing on I was heading out to a place called Moss Esper, which I guess has a lot of Star Wars lore around it, which regrettably I don't know. What I do know is that the Star Wars people had this road built uh, to access the location, which is why it's still pretty new and in decent condition, uh, aside from a few sand drifts. Bonjour. Yeah, it's Kiss, kissy. Hey, Nick. <laughs> Julia. 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 Salam alaikum. Salam. Ah, Julia. Ah. No, Messi. No, Messi. <laughs> Merci, Kefalik. Le vest. The vest. Oh, yeah. Or the Star Wars. This magnet. Uh huh. Yeah, or Star Wars. Star Wars magnet. Okay. Yeah. Like Isaac. Like the Star Wars. No, messy. Unfortunately for me and for the vendors who want me to dress up in Star Wars costumes, um, I haven't actually seen any of the movies from the main oeuvre of Star Wars. I saw one spin-off movie, I guess it was, but I fell asleep at the end, so I don't even know if that counts. So I'm not nearly as giddy <laughs> visiting this set as, um, as you might hope I would be. Apologies, I will try to give it the respect I'm sure it deserves. It's so weird because in many ways it does look like a Berber village and then you see the wood and it all feels very hollow. It's obviously getting quite old. Bizarre. These film sets are made though, this cloth over a wooden frame. Chicken wire. Voilà, ça c'est le harissa. Le fer 1, quelqu'un flippe le fer 2 si vous voulez. C'est le même prix? Oui, c'est le même prix. Alors 2 s'il vous plaît. Ils ont formé. Oui. C'est les pains barbares comme ça. Ok, merci. Ouais, voilà, directement. Comme ça. Oh. Et après, vous faites comme ça. Mm. <rire> c'est très très bon parce que ça, c'est travail barbare. Ok. Les bédouins. Voilà. <rire> Ah, 
Berber bread's cooked in the sand. C'est bon? Eh oui, oui. C'est bien. <laughs> There's next to no wind. Perfect conditions. Unfortunately, tomorrow, when I have about 100 kilometers to do, it's gonna be into a headwind, I think. But right now, almost nothing. In another auberge with an ensuite because I want an early start tomorrow. Uh, it came in and turned the air conditioning on and then immediately opened the window, I think, for the cigarette smell. But look at that view of the desert. I'm now heading out to something called the Lars Family Homestead and I've downloaded a Star Wars playlist to <laughs> at least get me a little bit in the Star Warsy mood. I'm already immensely glad I came. What an amazing place to be cycling, with or without a weird concrete igloo in the desert. Uh, before I forget, um, thank you so much, Dan, who PayPal'd me for my birthday. Wow, what, um, what a lovely, thoughtful, generous surprise. Thank you so much indeed, Dan. I can see it already. I've got the place to myself. It's just me and, and the last family homestead. There's nobody home. You'll have to hum the Star Wars theme tune yourself because I'll get a copyright strike if I play it. <laughs> 